I'm going to explore exception handling. What exception handling does is it deals with runtime errors. So essentially, this is able to handle errors without your program crashing. There are all sorts of different types of errors that we can come across. But there are three common types, and we'll look at each of those. So the first one is erroneous input, uh, referencing a file that doesn't exist, and also dealing with errors that occur when we divide a value by zero. When we're dealing with numeric input in particular, the user needs to be entering either floats or integers or whatever data type it is that we need to be dealing with. However, it could be the case that they're entering erroneous values, which is an easy thing to do. So what we need to be able to do is to handle the inputs and so it's dealt with in an appropriate and sensible way instead of the program just crashing out. So let's have a look at a, a very typical example here. So we can have uh, an integer here that we need to enter in. Enter integer there. And we're going to put that as um, input. So that, that's what we have there. However, when we run our program, of course, if we put anything other than an integer, so let's put in um, hello, let's say, it's going to give us an error. So we need to be able to handle that error in a sensible way. So the way of doing that is to use exception handling. And there are really two clauses that we need to, to use here. So try here. This will attempt this statement here. We also need to have an accept clause. This will get run when there is a problem with when we attempt our, in this case, our input here, when if it's incorrect. So if it's erroneous, it's going to run this statement that's going to tell us that there's an input error. So now, when we run our program and we have erroneous input, so it'll give us a sensible error message. So let's run this code again, entering a normal value. So go run, run, and then enter integer. Let's do six, and there we have it. Another type of error we often get is when we're trying to access a file that doesn't exist. So let's have a look at an example of a situation like that. So we're going to do a equals open, and then we're going to have a file. So this file does not exist and it's going to be reading that file. So we're reading a file that doesn't exist and then we need to have obviously an appropriate error here that, that deals with that as well. So file error. So, so we'll run this and it'll tell us this file error because that file doesn't exist. A final type of error I want to look at is a zero division error. So let's set up a couple of integers to start with. So num1 is 3 and num two is zero. So we've assigned a couple of integers there. And then we're going to create a new variable, num1 divided by num2. So we're dividing here three, three by zero. And that should return us a zero division error. And let's run that and you can see that that's the case.